Hi everyone. Um, this is a combination to the Maxoom rhythm, um, which is a rhythm that's used very, very widely in Oriental style um, music and, 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 and belly dance, and Egyptian style dance. Um, the Maxoom is a 4 4 rhythm, it's a nice, bright, perky kind of rhythm. It goes dum tak, tak dum tak, dum tak, tak dum tak. Like all my combinations, it is a 32 count um, combination which means that you should be able to pop it in pretty much any, um, in, in, into any piece of music. I think it would go very nicely in the middle of an oriental um, solo and I think it would work very well for um, a pop solo as well, pop dance. And like all my combinations, you are very, very welcome to use it um, in your own choreographies or in your own improvisations and you're also welcome to teach it. I just rather things got used. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to start off with um, a forward and a back step facing the left diagonal. I'm going to add in um, a three-quarter shimmy or Egyptian, whatever you want to call it. I'm then going to do a side step. What I'm doing is my right foot is flat, my left heel is lifted so that my hip pops up and I'm going to do a little double squeeze of the glute so that um, I get a little um, double hip lift here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going forward and back. I'm going side, side. I'm going to do drop, kick, take the foot behind and I'm going to do a little hop. So I'm just doing a little flick up of the, um, of the skirt and, um, and slightly coming up off the, off the floor and I'm going to bring my shoulder forward and look over the shoulder so you get this kind of like little cute perky kind of look. So we're going forward and back to the side, and drop, kick, behind, jump, and we're going to finish that little section off with a turning circle with um, a hip circle. So I'll show you from the back how this works. My feet are going left, right, left, right. My hip goes to the left, it goes behind, it goes to the right, it goes in front. So that's left, right, left, right. Yeah. At the same time, I'm going to be turning around back this way. So, my foot's here. I'm going left. As I put the left foot down, my left hip sticks out, so it's going to the audience. My right foot comes, my bum's going back to the audience. As my left foot comes round, my right hip is now going to the audience. So I'm always kind of pushing my, um, my hip to the audience, if you like, and sort of extending it to the audience. And then I'll finish off just by bringing the right foot in. Rather than actually putting it down flat, I'm just going to prepare it. So it's going one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll do the whole lot from the back because it'll be much easier for you from the back. We're going forward, back, side step, drop, release, behind, jump, left, right, left. I'm then going to bring my right foot across. So that's my first four section. The next section of four is the right foot is going to come across. I'm then going to kick that foot away. So, kick, take it behind with a plie and then a hip lift, which is a preparation for a hip drop, which we're going to do. So, the weight goes on the right foot. As I kick that foot away, the weight transfers to my left foot. And of course, I point the toe, I take the right foot behind with a plie, I lift the right hip, the left hip. So it goes, one, two, three, four. From the front, one, two, three, four. I'm then going to do drop, release, drop, release, and then two drops with my... Upper body starting to come over, yeah? 
I'm then going to continue that and I'm going down to in pretty much a flat back, yeah? Make sure you keep the rib cage lifted, make sure you keep the shoulders down and back so that you don't end up with this. So, drop, kick, drop, drop. One, two, three, four. I'm then going to do a shoulder roll and I'm going to undulate up. This is a straightforward undulation like a camel. So, really what's happening is I'm pulling in the upper abs, then the lower abs, and then releasing. So, some people might think this is a down undulation. Basically, it's not like a reverse camel. It's coming in. Right there. Yeah? So, I've done my drop, kick, drop, drop. One, two, three, four. Shoulder roll, and come up. The whole of that section is... Oops, right foot across. Right foot across, kick it away, take it behind, lift, drop, release, drop, drop. Take it further down, shoulder roll, undulator. I'm tending to bring my arms in as I'm dropping down so that I'm showing off my hips. And then when I come into the undulation, I'm taking the hands away so that, you sit, so that I'm kind of exposing the undulation. Okay, next section. I'm going to take my left foot across. I'm going to take my right foot out to the side. I'm going to start to put the weight over on the right foot. It's really important that you don't put the heel down. You want to have a, set, a bit of tension here. Yeah? You don't want to actually plunk it down. So left foot goes across. As I do this, I'm leaning the upper body, swaying the upper body. And I'm creating a figure of eight, an over figure of eight, a sort of a down figure of eight, if you like, in Maya, on the rib cage. Don't lead it with the shoulders. Definitely don't lead it with the hands or the arms, yeah? It comes from the ribcage, from the sternum, yeah? So, we're going across, two, three, four. My right hip comes up, my left hip comes up. As I do that, one arm comes in, the other arm comes in and down. So, one, two, three, four. Right hip up, left hip up. I'm going to repeat my turning circle, but this time going to the left. Left, right, left. Prepare the right foot for another double hip drop with a foot release. One, two, three, four. You can add a little plie there if you like. One, two, three, four. So the whole of that section from the back is <laughs> left across. One, Two, three, four. Right hip up, left hip up. Round you go to the back. Drop, kick, drop, kick. My last section is facing the back. And I'm going to show off some nice hip work, which should look good if you've got a two-piece. Um, we're going to start off with the suhizaki step. So, this is the one that goes down. I'm doing it on releve, on the balls of my feet. My knees are fairly, my, my legs are fairly straight. Obviously, you don't want them to be locked, but they're pretty straight. Um, and basically, the leg where the weight is, that's where that hip goes down. So, down, 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 down. So, it's not up, 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 but down, 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 down. Yeah? One, two... I'm then going to bring, going to create an upward figure of eight as I travel back in the other direction. Now, my, the weight is down on my left hip and on my left leg. I'm going to bring that left hip up, two, three, four. So if you look, so basically we're getting a, a real um, differentiation in the hips between sharp downwards, curvy upwards. So it looks like this: one, two, three, four, up, up. Yeah, again, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Finishing off with a simple pivot, right foot goes towards the back, right foot goes out to the side, and then a nice deep hip circle um, with a dip to finish the whole thing off. So just that last four section goes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And pivot, big hip circle.
So, I'll work through the whole thing from the back, which is much easier for you to, to follow. We're going forward and back with an Egyptian. Side step with a little flick. Drop, kick, take it back, jump. Turning circle, finishing right foot prepared. Take the right foot across, kick it away. Take it behind, lift, drop, kick, drop, drop. Dropping down, two, three, four. Shoulder roll, undulate up. Left foot across, transfer the weight. Right hip up, left hip up. Turning circle round to the back. Drop, kick, drop, kick. So his back is facing the back. One, two, three, four. Hips up, coming back to the center. Pivot, turn, big hip circle. One more time. Forward, back, side, side. Drop, kick behind, and turn it round. Cross, kick it away. Drop, lift, drop, kick, drop, drop. Coming down, two, three, four. Shoulder roll, undulate up. Left foot across, sway the upper body. Right hip up, left hip up. Turn the circle round to face the back. Looking over the shoulder as you do two more hip drops. Head faces the back as you do suhizaki. Three, four. Upwards, eight. Um, pivot turn. Big hip circle. I'll do it with the maximum. So here's our max suit. You can hear it going. Dum tap tap dum tap dum tap tap dum tap dum tap tap dum tap. Always make sure that you step on the beat. Really feel that beat. So important. Here we go. Five. Have fun.